or the graph that is uh, given there, I'm going to find the degree of each of the vertices. And number two, I'm going to find uh, cycles that start at uh, the vertex V1. So to find uh, the degree of uh, each of uh, the vertices there, I would look at uh, the definition of uh, the degree of uh, a vertex. The degree of a vertex V, which we denote by dV, is the number of edges with a V as an end vertex. By convention, we count a loop twice and parallel edges contribute separately. In this case, we are just having a simple graph. We don't have a, a loop or parallel edges. I usually find it convenient to label the edges. So I'll call that one E1, the second one E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, and uh, E7. And these are just uh, for reference. So looking at uh, the vertex V1 there, we see that it is an end vertex for edges E1 and E7. We are having just two edges there. And therefore, the degree of V1 is equal to 2. Moving on to vertex number 2, we are seeing that it is the end vertex for edges E1 and E2. Two edges there. So we have the degree of V2 is a 2. Moving on to vertex number 3, we are seeing that it is an end vertex for edges E2, E3, and E4. We are having three edges there, so we have the degree of V3 is a 3. Moving on to vertex number 4, we are seeing that there are two edges there, E3 and E5. So the degree of a vertex 4 is a 2. Moving to vertex number 5, we are seeing that there are edges E4, E5, and E6. We are having three edges there. Therefore, the degree of vertex 5 is a 3. Moving on to vertex number 6, we see that there are two edges there, E6 and E7. The degree of vertex 6 is a 2. I now move on to question number 2, finding cycles which start at uh, V1. When you are looking at a cycle, the degree of each vertex in the graph is uh, a 2. So in this case, we are looking at subgraphs of uh, that given graph where each vertex would have a degree of 2. So I can uh, highlight a subgraph of uh, that given graph by that uh, red line there. And I'm moving in the counterclockwise. So if we have that subgraph which passes through V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. In this case, for that highlighted part there in red, we see that all those uh, vertices would have a degree of uh, 2. So in this case, the cycle that would have would be moving from V1 to E1, V2, E2, V3, E3, V4, E5, V5, E6, E6, E7, then back to V1. So that's a one cycle that we have there. We also have another cycle in the clockwise direction. So if you are moving in the direction there from a V1, V6, V5, V4, V3, V2, then back to V1. It's another cycle again which uh, starts at uh, the vertex V1. So in this uh, case, uh, the path for that uh, cycle there would be V1, E7, V6, E6. V5, E5, V4, E3, V3, E2, V2, E1, then back to V1. So this is the cycle again that starts at uh, the vertex V1. We can look at another one there in the counterclockwise direction. This one that I've highlighted in red, which is starting at V1, then goes to V2, V3, V5. V6 then to V1. So for this cycle, it will be V1, E1, V2, E2, V3, E4, V5, E6, V6, E7, V1. And we can look at uh, the other direction, the clockwise direction now. Starting at uh, V1, then going to 
v6, v5, v3, v2, then back to v1. So for that cycle, we'd have v1, e7, v6, e6, v5, e4, v3, e2, v2, e1, v1. So those are examples of uh, cycles that are starting at uh, v1.